J Drone here. This is a SEMA X3. I've taken uh, the prop guards off it. I've also taken the internal battery out and I have a 650 mAh taped underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and get this binded. Throttle up, throttle down, and up. We're good to go. Take this outside, and there's the battery that I have taped there. It's just regular tape, scotch tape. Binds plastic very nicely. And our setup was 27 seconds and change. I'm going for flight duration here. I do have a 7 mile an hour wind. Also want to see if it can fly in it, which it's showing that it's able to fly in it. It is pushing it slightly, but uh, actually a little more than slightly. But I think we're going to be able to fight against this here. Um, if you watched a video before this, I'll show you. I show you how to do this. It's very simple. Everything's clipped and uh, you can unclip stuff and just push wire through to get that battery out and again just tape external battery on the bottom of this the first time I flew this I flew it stock with the prop guards around it and I thought it flew very floppy and where what I've come to get a definition for floppy is kinda like a piece of paper if you were to fly a flat piece of paper out say it could fly or hover and wind would pick up on it the nose would go up and the back would go down very hard. Same thing with left to right and right to left. And if a wind got in the back, it just dipped forward very hard. This doesn't seem to be doing that even in the 7 mile an hour wind. And you can see I'm able to fly it. I can't take it out too far just because that wind, let's see. The wind is pushing it back. The, w the way we're flying now the wind is blowing against us and I do have it in the second speed setting when you press to throttle forward in the second speed setting your nose is going to dip down considerably as you can see it keeps doing if this wasn't 7 mile an hour wind which 7 mile an hour winds moderate but this thing weighs nothing uh, obviously it weighs something excuse my over exaggeration it weighs very little and if this was extremely light wind or no wind you'd be able to maneuver this I think very well because uh, the throttle seems to be pretty pretty reactive towards what I'm doing here you can see the nose is down and I slightly have it pushed forward let the winds take in it this is flying much nicer than uh, what the manufacturer gave you and I I got this let's see if we take off nope don't want to break a blade and just take off from the hood here um, I got this I don't know I don't even know how much it costs I think it's 30 and change and you can get it all day all over the internet for under 40 and change some retailers have it for 30 some have it for 40 Yeah, this is doing well. Um, if the wind would ever stop, I've been plagued with wind for the past two to three weeks here. Uh, we'll get this out again in it without wind. So I'm actually very surprised how well this is doing in the wind. And you can see the wind's taking it all the way back there. And we're dipping our nose down, fighting, fighting, and we're back. Again, main reason for flying this one, I have the body stripped down. I wanted to see if it flew any better, which it does. And I'm kind of going for flight duration here. And just uh, coincidentally, I have extreme, not extreme, I have moderate wind uh, out here showing that it can fly in moderate wind. It's not having an easy time flying in it. As you can see, I'm kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. But it is able to. Smack the tree, and is it broke? No, but I do believe uh, something was caught in the blade. That's a hand toss. You don't have to start on the ground. And you can see me kind of getting out of the way of this thing. I'm going up, and the wind's blowing backwards. We're going to go ahead and take off from here. works a little bit better than from the ground with this wind 
If you look at the video before this, I did want to put different propellers on this. I'm not a fan of the Tri-Blade. Uh, Tarantula 1505 is a magnificent flyer. It's extremely quick and I actually took the spares that came with this and put it on there. You can check that video out too if you look at my videos. And I don't think it performed well. I don't think these tri-propellers are good propellers. Uh, they're not horrible. You can see it's flying. Um, so I shouldn't say I guess that they're not good propellers but I don't think they perform as well as your straight blade and I have a couple ideas on how to maybe modify a straight blade to fit on this because I really want to try a straight blade on this but the smallest ones that I have end up hitting the shell of the body this is doing this is doing good I mean, we're, uh, we're already at average mark for a normal quadcopter. I think, uh, what I have for setup time? I think my setup time was uh, 20 some odd seconds. And we're at, oh, we're over six minutes here. So let's say flight time, actually we're six minutes and 25 seconds right now. So let's say flight time, six minutes right now. That's average. Anything more than this, I'm happy with. Uh, I think the battery did its job because so I'm pretty sure I can't remember but uh, I think this got an average flight time the first time I flew it you can see it's it's able to fly here guys um, this is from SEMA SEMA is uh, one of your name brands it's not your super high expensive name brand uh, like your DJ series and whatnot, but uh, it has some entry level quads and then it has some mid level quads. I'm unsure of the super pricey ones if SEMA does actually carry something that's four or five hundred dollars, but a lot of people have the X5. Uh, I have the X5 and that does well. That's kind of like your uh, Striker and your Quadradrone Pro Cam, kind of all share the same type of body style this one is a body style of its own I don't have anything else that's like this and again I took the battery out and put it underneath for the simple fact I do not really care for unit charging quadcopters for the simple fact that you charge it you fly you're done you have to charge it again I like to charge a couple batteries go fly take the battery off fly take the battery off fly there's no wait time that's the biggest draw with these drones is the wait time I have tons of batteries I don't like wait time and this is the only second time that I've flown this and I attribute that to the internal battery but I figured out how to take that battery out and stick another battery underneath it I can hot swap batteries all day now I just about smack myself in the face with that <laughs> again the winds blowing backwards and from ground takeoffs I want to go up and it's going up and back because of the wind. Yeah, you definitely got to get this out in uh got to get this out in no wind. I need a no wind day. Which it's been a long time since I've had a no wind day. Even my last altitude tests uh I had some type of wind and I don't like doing it altitude tests with wind because things drift and it starts to get dangerous whether you're gonna not so much dangerous but it starts to get to the point where am I gonna lose it is the wind gonna take it if I'm up extremely high and the wind does take it how far is it gonna take and just like this I'm chancing this getting stuck in a tree I mean I'm trying not to take it too far away from me and not go super duper high just so I don't have to climb any trees here but flying in wind with a quadcopter that's just okay in it you're taking your chances because all, all it take is a gust over the seven mile an hour that's doing say like a 10 to 15 mile an hour gust which could happen and then it's gone <laughs> and then either I'm going on a search for it or I'm gonna end up climbing a tree and right around this area for some reason I seem to be getting what I perceive as interference 
I am in a, in a very lightly populated residential community, but I have Wi-Fi. I'm sure my neighbors have Wi-Fi, and nice. There's the tree I was talking about. <laughs> That's actually not even a tree. And there's a pine tree in between, in, behind both of the Cadillacs. What that stuck in is an Ebervitae bush. It looks like a tree because I haven't trimmed it in forever, and I don't plan on trimming it. Kind of provides cover for my house and allows it to cool during the summer. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and climb this. If you're gonna climb a tree, if you're gonna, especially if you're gonna climb a bush that's uh, kind of grown into a tree, you see me? I was gonna monkey bar both those. You want your hands as close to the trunk as possible on these branches. If you grab outwards, I watched uh, a video on Facebook, some guy grabbed outwards on a branch kind of like I was just about ready to do. I'm going to grab inwards closest to the trunk. He grabbed outwards and both hands and smack, broke, fell on his back. I don't know if he was alright, but you can see my hands are very close to the trunk of the tree. That's the strongest part of the branch. The branches grow outward from the trunk and the further out they go the less strength that they have so be careful if you're gonna be climbing trees you are going up higher than uh, ground level and if you fall if your body is not resilient or rock solid you're probably gonna get hurt pretty bad I've never fallen out of the tree I'd like to think maybe from this height if I fell I probably wouldn't break anything Maybe fracture something or uh, bruise pretty, pretty bad, but I'm really not willing to chance falling. You can see where my hand placement is, right next to the trunk. And almost down here. does take some upper body strength I mean if you balance your upper body with your legs when you're climbing it doesn't take too too much upper body strength but uh... It does take upper body strength I mean that was a quick climb I don't know maybe that two minute fourteen seconds not in flight I'm putting these statistics on there just so you can get a vague idea how long this wasn't in flight so we could see what the flight time was. Right now we're almost at 13 minutes. You take that two minutes away. Let's see, uh, we're at 11 minutes. You take another 20 seconds away. We're probably at 10 minutes and change. The thing's been in the air flying. That's epic. Epic flight time. Right now the clock's at 13 and 13 minutes and 15 seconds. In five seconds, that'll be 13:20. Take 2:20 away for setup and not out of flight, not in flight. <laughs> We're pushing 11 minutes here, guys. In moderate wind. So this was an aggressive flight. This wasn't a casual cruise. This was pretty aggressive. Nose was constantly down, constantly flying in the wind. Um, I mean, you even see it just got taken. It was flying forward, and it got taken backwards. So, I mean, whatever whatever flight time we end up with here, I'd bank money that I get at least two to four minutes, if not more, in less wind to no wind. And we'll test that for you, just the way it is. I'm also going to put this back together because... I'm just thinking now, I haven't reviewed this stock, just to show you what I mean by uh, it flying floppy, and uh, see what type of time it gets with those guards on it, and with the stock battery on it, but for right now, I'm stoked, we're at 14 minutes, 26 seconds, take a 220, let's say even take 3 minutes, we're at 11 and a half minutes here. And this is uh, this is having a hard time now. The wind seems to have picked up considerably. So I mean, we were at seven mile an hour. I could feel the wind pushing. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably getting close to ten mile an hour wind here. 
You can see it. It's getting bullied around. I mean, we're still in there. We're, we're trying here. <laughs> We're at 15 and change here, folks. This, uh, this, I can't say it's really a mod. I guess it's a battery modification, but, uh, the teardown of this body, successful for an extended flight time. I mean, whatever this time is, let's say we take three minutes off of it. Got the tree climb and rescue, original setup time, and every time that this has hit the ground, we'll add on about 10 seconds or so. So whatever this is, we're going to take about three minutes off of it, and that's what we're going to consider the total time in the air. And as of right now, if we did that, we're at 16 minutes. It's a 13-minute flight time and aggressive wind. And again, it seems to be taken off better from the hood of the car. Yeah, wind's just taking us all over the place, and I think the battery has to be just about done. Yeah, there it is. 16 minutes, 30 seconds, minus 3, 13 minute, 30 second flight time. There you have it. I'm J-Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a great day.